All right, we're back. <clears throat> Coffee again. This time, with just a little bit of cream. <clears throat> I got some soap loaded up into the Lancaster bowl. We're gonna be using a good old gem this morning. Gem style, 1912. This one isn't the Art Deco handle. It's the uh, basic bitch handle. And we got a sample for Sample Sunday of Le Pierre Lucien. And this one's in the traditional scent. The traditional scent to me is somewhat green. It's a mix of like eucalypt eucalyptus, lavender, um, rosemary, and thyme. And I think there's some other stuff because it said there was like 10 essential oils. But it's, the resulting fragrance is pretty damn green. Very nice. Bright. Um, bright green. And I like it. <clears throat> I don't know if it's like... It doesn't say Fougere like anywhere on the description. But it's, it's green and kind of herbaceous. Kind of like a fern. So, probably not far off. I don't think the eucalyptus is really overpowering, nor the lavender, in all honesty. It, it's a nice blend. It's, um, to me, it's, it's more green than, like, that eucalyptus can overpower a fragrance, you know? We're going to be using the uh, Thater and some distilled water. Eucalyptus can kind of be overpowering. I don't think this is overpowering at all. I think they blended it pretty nicely. So, we got the little fader brush right there with the basic bitch handle. We'll get to lathering as we go. I'm somewhat in a hurry. During breakfast, me and the wife decided we should uh, take a trip down to Oregon. Since they're a little bit further along. And um, they actually have a decent amount of breweries open. And I cannot wait to go um, sit down at a brewery again. I have been lately because the outdoor seating in my city is opening up, but, um, I can't wait to go sit at a bar, man. Oh my God. <laughs> Anyhow, <clears throat> the, uh, the eucalyptus isn't overpowering. I don't find the lavender to be overpowering. The lavender, I'd say, is probably more perceivable than um, the eucalyptus. But it still maintains, like, a green vibe to it. And this kind of just soaked it right up. It's funny because it kind of got, like, a... It's kind of got, like, a somewhat airy um, vibe to it. So I don't want to add too much water, even though I know there's a lot of soap still on the walls. I just want to take it kind of low and slow to make sure that I don't, I don't over hydrate it, you know what I mean? So this is a uh, vegetal base maker, is from France. This is actually one of the traditional old school soaps that I've wanted to try for a long time. But I think the import price drives up the already somewhat, um, you know, on the higher end price. And so us Americans get it for like a pretty, pretty substantial <laughs> price point. So I have definitely not uh, picked up a tub of this yet, but um, J.R. Reyes from Reyes Restores threw in a sample, along with a bunch of other samples, from his giveaway that I won. Alright, so we got a pretty nice lather. It's funny because there is some bubbles. And I'm wondering if I should just finish working it up on the face. The stuff that's on my, um, my fingertips, I can feel is very slick. But it looks... It's like a like a medium low density. 
It's not like really, really low and light and airy, but it's like a medium low, at least at this stage. So it definitely, it definitely pops up into a voluminous lather, but it's not necessarily super dense, at least not yet. But the fragrance is nice. I'd say it's probably about five or six. It, um, I think some of those bright green notes make it easily perceivable. The thyme and rosemary on top, I'm assuming. Those top notes are pretty easily perceivable. And then I think the, uh, the lavender is probably in the base. And the eucalyptus is probably somewhere in the heart. But pretty damn enjoyable. It smells classy. Like it smells just like sort of uh, elegant. You know what I mean? Alright, that looks pretty good actually. That looks pretty good. I think we got it into that medium density area and we kind of knock down a little bit of that volume which is okay with me we've kind of got it into this low structure point which I'm not sure if it's always like that because this is my first and only use with it but we've kind of whipped it into a low structure, medium density, and uh, I think that's going to do us pretty good. I could feel the slickness on my fingers here. So yeah, this is one that I've wanted to try for a while. I'm happy to get to use it. I only put a little tiny bit of cream with my coffee because I like to still have that, that bold coffee underneath. So here we go, Gem 1912. And it has a uh, Rite Aid Day Logic gem blade in it, which I think is made by Persona. I don't know if you guys have Rite Aid where you're from, but it's just kind of like like a mini market um, pharmacy drugstore type deal over here where I live. Now with the gems, I told you guys this many times, but they say ride the cap. You can see how it's kind of like a flat surface, maybe just the slightest angle on it. Just ride the cap. Put that flat up against the surface and shave. <clears throat> maybe just the, uh, the slightest angle outward like that, but just the slightest. More or less, ride the cat. And you'll know. You'll know if it's if it's not working. If you're a, uh, you know, too too aggressive of an angle, you'll feel a lot more blade. You'll be basically scraping the the blade across your skin. You know what I mean? And it'll feel more like a scrape rather than cut. And then if you're way too, you know, if you're too shallow, you won't feel anything at all because you're just going to be getting the, uh, the safety guard. You'll be getting the safety guard rather than the uh, blade. So you'll know. You'll know when you're doing it right. And it only takes a little while to kind of, to find the right cutting angle. And then after that, it's just, you know set it and forget it just maintain just maintain that angle and you're golden so this stuff is plenty plenty slick i think if you were looking to add a uh, traditional soap into your collection um, and you haven't tried this one yet, you probably, 
have no fear really. It it has good slickness. Um, I would say it doesn't have like the greatest amount of density and cushion. But um, if your technique's on point, that honestly doesn't mean much of shit. Because uh, you can have a washed out lather that you could see straight through to your skin. If your technique's on point, you're gonna you're gonna get a good shave with no irritation, no cuts. So <clears throat> the cushion and density is really just you know a little bit of added benefit in case you aren't on point. But if your technique's good, don't really gotta worry about density and cushion. <clears throat> if your technique's good, you really don't need a whole hell of a lot of slickness either, to be honest. And I was watching Dave Card this morning, and something he said was something that's, you know, it's been said a hundred times, but if you can't get a good shave with Parasso, you're not going to get a good shave with the highest end, most expensive, um, a hundred ingredients list <laughs> soap either. Because it's the technique that what ma is what matters, you know what I mean? And if you don't know what I mean, I'm telling you. If you don't know, now you know. So. And you can see, you can see there's some bubbles in there. This is the stuff that I pulled from the bowl, so I didn't, I didn't quite work it. Like the uh, stuff that I had on my first pass, I didn't work it. But there's plenty of it. So this is going to be... The second pass is going to be a little bit less dense, a little bit more voluminous than the first pass. But you saw, you saw that we can work it into something more dense. <clears throat> it just doesn't matter. Okay. Now we're going against the grain. The gem is feeling very smooth. The little petite handle makes it very uh, maneuverable. It's weird, you know. It's a it's a very very small um, razor there, but some people like that. Some people don't. But it absolutely has nothing to do with the um, performance of the shaver. All weight on all razors can be tamed just by your touch, you know what I mean? So, they can say like, you know, let the, the weight of the razor do the work. That's true, you, you can do that. You can opt in to doing that. Or... You can tame that weight yourself with your touch. You know what I mean? So, it's all on you. The, the moral is the technique. That's what I'm trying to, to drive home here. Just about the technique. And of course you can see I drove over the top of like a pimple or something. But it's no big deal. Shit happens. Like I always say, I think my my beard oils that I put in daily. I think they cause me to get like acne on my uh my face and neck. But it's all right though, because I gotta have that healthy beer. All right, let's try to wash some of this down. I want to move my coffee out of the way that way I don't get a bunch of suds in it. 
<clears throat> but yeah, Lapierre Lucien turned out to be some pretty damn good stuff. Uh, at least I had a good first first run with it. I like the scent. If um, being vegetal appeals to you, that you know, no animal product being used in it, that sort of thing appeals to you. This is a great option for you. And uh, if that doesn't matter to you at all, at least you can know that it's another, it's another um, great option um, in that vegetal category, which you don't see a whole hell of a lot of because everybody's so wrapped up in tallow which you know tallow's fine tallow's great but at the same time so are these vegan and vegetal bases so Absolutely nothing to shy away from these vegan and vegetable vegetal bases. They're uh, they're just they're plenty good enough to get the job done. Just as good, if not better, in some cases. So. This is one of those ones. <laughs> I don't know if you guys were watching um, Jack from the Virtual Groom Room and Corey from Shaving with Chief on on Instagram yesterday. <laughs> I forgot what they call it. I think they call it against the grain, if I remember correctly. But they did a you know a dual Instagram live and just kind of shoot shot the shit. Well, I guess they. They had topics planned, but they were shooting the shit, more or less. And, um... <laughs> they were saying... Or, I was joking that, uh... I make a, uh... DK beard hair brush. And then, Jack said, yeah, but the problem is, is you'll never be able to wash... <laughs> all the lather out of that brush. <laughs> because it'll, it'll get, it'll stay stuck in there, you know what I mean? I thought that was fucking hilarious. And then what I added was, yeah, it'll stay stuck in there, but the good thing about that is your lather will be half built already from the get-go. Every time you every time you shave, your lather will be half done for you already. All right, I'll get the rest out off camera. This is one of those ones that the beard doesn't want to give back. It'll take it, but it doesn't want to give back. So what I'm gonna do is some Viking Soaps Longship. Now this is a inspired, I don't think it's an exact dupe, but it's an inspired by um, Tom Ford's Gray Vetiver. And I'm just going to take the cap off that. And I'm going to add in some good oleo. Because this is one of those, I don't know if you can see the ingredients list. It's one of those that's fairly basic. It's uh, alcohol, water, witch hazel, glycerin, menthol fragrance. So not a whole hell of a lot of skin food. And this is entirely skin food. So I'm going to just add a few drops of this. With a few drops of this. Mix it all up. And now we got some skin food with this great fragrance. Got a little tingle. Little tingle on the neck. A little bit more right here, obviously. So, but I think the uh, the skin food from Good Oleo kind of tamed the alcohol burn. Not that I shy away from it, but it's kind of nice to have that uh, added skin food. I don't I, I don't mind the burn. I, I actually quite enjoy the burn, but it's kind of nice to have that 
added skin food in there as well. And I am soon going to be working on an updated, or I'm going to be a tester for an updated aftershave splash. So that's, that's good. I'm excited for that. Something that I've been calling for for a little bit, and they finally are moving forward with it. So that's good. All right. Right here, guys. Le Pierre, Lucien, and hopefully I'm saying that right. If I'm not, I'm sorry. But real good stuff. Traditional, nice scent, nice performance, good vegetal base. Can't ask for much, much more than that. The Gem 1912 razor. Over 100 years old, still performs fucking fantastic. Lancaster Bowl, Theta Badger Brush. I don't know the number. Don't ask me. <laughs> and then, of course, some good oleo and Viking Soaps Long Ship for the mixed aftershave product. That was a good one, guys. Have a good Sunday. I'm going to go have some fantastic beers that me and Jack will probably share. Um, once he moves up here, I'll take him to these spots in Hood River. Anyways, cheers, guys. Have a good Sunday.